Hi everyone. I'm Joanna. I'm a 19 year old high school student and I'm here to share my testimony. I'm so thankful for the amazing Kingdom Core Value classes. It had helped me learn and grow in the word of God. The te- teachings and homework had inspired me in my walk with the Lord Jesus. I'm grateful for all the friendly teachers who who taught me who taught me too. I have also met some kind people in my class. I'm looking forward to my graduation and moving forward in competing of all my kingdom series classes. I pray God for the strength and good health that he had provided me despite my new medications i thank god for my health has been good and s- stable despite my specialty i i am also very grateful to my uh sorry, very supportive and caring parents mr and mrs raj who 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 have always been by my side i wish to thank my tutor dr shireen for introducing me to rlc and the kingdom series classes may god bless renewal lutheran church thank you very much thank you so much joanna wow. praise the lord everyone i'm mina joanna's mother now um <coughs> Uh, excuse me uh joanna is a very special child uh i gave up gave birth to her after 9 years uh doctors declared that i my baron i cannot give birth and miracle took place and joanna was formed in my womb praise the lord and in fact the word came from pastor henry ramaya I'm not sure whether you all are familiar with him. Yeah. So, uh when I uh, delivered her, I had a uh, severe preeclampsia and uh, my pressure was soaring very high. So, the doctor thought that I may uh be dead or my child, but God sustained. He kept on giving me uh Psalm 23 and he said um Uh, it will never go waste and uh, joanna was born as a extreme premature baby with a weight of 655 g and stayed in the hospital for about 8 months yes and i brought her back after she uh, uh gained weight about 2 kg and since then she did have a lot of complication uh she had a um, heart problem Uh, till today she has chronic lung disease and uh, doctor has actually uh, verified that she has to be on oxygen 24 hours so uh, but by faith joanna said no ama i'm not going to wear it for church or others i will put it at home alone so that gave me that you know watching her grow uh, my faith grew too and uh, she also have impairment of the uh, impairment of the eyesight whereby her her right eye is partial blindness and uh, her left eye is stage 3 but all this i owe it to god i owe it to jesus 
There's nothing in me that I can claim that it's all on my part or my husband's part. But it's all glory to God. That's my testimony. I'm here to witness it. So thank you very much. Father, we want to lift up this family to you. Father, the family of grace and faith. And they have taken through such a pathway. Father, we believe that you will bring complete healing and restoration. Fulfill the secret petition of their heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She doesn't have to bear the pain anymore because Jesus Christ bore this pain on the cross 2,000 years ago. Even as doctors have given up hope, but Lord, you give them that ray of hope and it's getting brighter and brighter. And surely even the word of God say, the path of the righteous are getting brighter and brighter until the break of dawn. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hi, I'm LG from class of uh, Kingdom Shine. Uh, here we study uh, more in depth each fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is, you know, uh, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And uh, here we learn that we can be attractive, you know, and uh, uncommon, and we can shine. And through these studies, uh, I noticed that uh, there is a good change in me, uh, in my perspective as well as in my priorities. I found myself more resilient, uh, praise the Lord, and joyful, peaceful, and more focused, especially in the sharing of the good news. Uh, this is uh, something that I always in my, my heart, right? So, but people tend to shy away from uh, listening to our sharing. Uh, they will change topic and uh, they will turn, turn away, you know. But uh, I am not discouraged because to get a message across somehow, I learned to be tactful, not to uh, be easily offended. So uh, I will actually accommodate and still get back uh, to my intended sharing. Because so for, to me, their salvation matters most. I uh, got to learn to be bold and also as I share, I actually uh, am praying within that uh, they will have open heart towards the gospel. Uh, at least plant a seed, okay? Being supply conscious that the Holy Spirit will actually put words into my mouth and I share on topics that will actually interest them. Uh, how God bless our home, our family, our children, our health, how we can actually intercede for all our loved ones and also actually let them know that they too can access to the same blessings, trusting Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. So sharing His mercy and love is easy, testifying for all that He has done. The, I was compelled to share this when I was, uh, my son was driving me here. Uh, I've, uh, when those years uh, in my working life, uh, I, every Monday without fail, no? not without fail, I cannot say without fail. Every Monday, I usually share with my colleague uh, uh, Pastor uh, Joshua's sermon, uh, the takeaway from his sermon, you know, and I could see the excitement on the face, you know, you know the glow on the face and the, the, the eagerness to actually listen every Monday, you know. And then there's one, one, one Monday, I actually, I uh, don't know why I didn't share with her, but normally we share during lunchtime, lah, huh? we don't take the office hours. So, uh, and then she will say, hey, why today nothing from your church? Ah? No good church are you? <laughs> so, uh, I, 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 I thought maybe because I was very overwhelmed with my own work, like, you know, so I, I forgotten what I don't know. But, uh, but this tells me something, you know, that she's actually hunger for it. So, uh, no, it's so important for us to actually share with our friends because I love Pastor Joshua's messages because, uh, you no, know, it's very family orientated. So, it kind of actually helps as we share with our colleagues, our friends. Uh, they actually wanted to, and hungry, wanted to listen more because it helps them, you know, it ministers to their, to their heart. So, uh, we, they, somehow, I, I actually, many times I actually invited her to church, but she, I don't know why she couldn't make it. Lah. But somehow, since people cannot come to church, we can bring church to them instead. Amen. All right. Amen. Uh, so here, I uh, I like to share that uh, we need to really have a very close relationship with our Abba because it's so important. Because with Him, we stand strong. Okay, loving the unlovable is still possible. 
right? It's always possible because we have God's enabling. So uh, knowing God, it is God's will for us to love. Yeah, Jesus said, "Forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing." Okay, because their hearts and their mind and their eyes are fully, you know, blinded by the evil one. So it's easy to love them if we love God enough. Right. My, my takeaway from this uh, kingdom shine, I will not let anyone or anything to take away my peace and my joy. I thank Pastor Joshua and Pastor Carrie for all uh, the years of nurturing us in the Word. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Church. I baptized on the 8th of April last year. And Pastor Eliza always said that I'm the new baby to come back to a Christian uh, family. And after I, my baptize, Pastor Eliza encouraged me to take up the, uh, the, spa, uh, the Bible study. He said, David, to become a Christian, you need to know the content of the Bible. You know, to me, at my age, for me to go back to the classroom again, I said, wow, I don't want to go back to the class to study. Amazingly, I enrolled my name last year, and then the class uh, planned to start in the month of February, for your information. When the enemy continues to attack you, he will continue to attack you. I was attacked. The first lesson, I couldn't make it because I was hit by COVID. I was down and I was so frustrated and I couldn't come. But I take the trouble to go online and enjoy the service from Pastor Joshua. I continued to gain the power and then I went into the second lessons. For your information, I missed four lessons in total. And today, why I was given the opportunity to come on stage to say, share my testimony, I think it's very, very important for the new Christian baby or the children of God. You have to continue to believe in God and have it in Him. He put you to test again. I was down again. I couldn't come because I was infected by infections, bite by unknown insect. And doctor gave me a surgery and cut off my skin. This big portion of this so big that I cannot drive, I cannot walk. So I skip. But from the help of my classmate Joyce, I managed to find some answer. But you still have to find the answer to the questions that are asked. Now, this is what I have written. written. I say, the teacher in Kingdom Series, Kingdom Dynamic, are so kind and attentive in guiding us. Through their explanation, explanations, I quickly integrated into the class and began to understand the meaning of reading the Bible. This course, allowed me to realize my true self. Know that I am a child of Heavenly Father and know my mission in life. Yes, now I know my mission in life. I deeply feel that my wisdom, endurance, and perspective on treating people and also things have changed significantly since then. Dear brother and sister, I want to thank you, RFC, for the care and love. Thank you, Pastor Joshua, Pastor Kerry, and all the pastors in this church for providing me with the opportunity to know our Lord. Our grace belongs to our Heavenly Father. So, brother and sister, never give up when you have problem. I would like to share with you in other se se uh, seasons, being baptized as a Christian, being back to the Christian family again, you have to encounter so much of changes and challenges that you would never, never encounter before. You would be going down right to the bottom and then you bounce up again. Now I feel that with the love from God, from Lord, I am slowly bouncing back. Amen. Thank you, brother Thank and you sister. So much, Thank everyone. you so much for the Thank opportunity. Thank you for sharing. Good afternoon, church. Uh, I attended Kingdom, Kingdom Shine 
Okay, uh, my testimony is attending Kingdom Shine helped me focus more on my spiritual growth and understand how to enjoy the different flavors of the fruit of the Spirit. I also discovered ways to exercise the fruit of the Spirit the right way, especially in my approach towards others. And the lesson outline was very clear and easy to understand, especially if we followed along Pastor's sermon and the special articles helped a lot. So I, would, I just want to thank Pastor and the Oasis team for preparing the SVG series as it enables us to build on the right foundation and live according to God's purpose that His kingdom may be established here on earth. Amen. All glory amen to God. Amen and amen. Hello, RLC family. Uh, my name is Linda Go. I uh, joined the Grace Encounter the last semester. During one of the uh, early um, chapters, right? In the midst of the Zoom sharing, I experienced the uh, grace encounter from the Lord. I, uh, you know, like I said, was during the Zoom, I just received, you know, a, a word from the Lord. The Lord says that He will compensate me for the loss. I knew what it was. <sighs> it had been a contention because I blamed myself for procrastination and uh, it's been quite a few years. So what happened was, a few years ago, the Lord told me, um, to recruit someone, a particular person. Now, I uh, was a bit uncomfortable and I, hesi I was hesitant because this person was working under another person whom I know personally. So I felt, um, I debated lah, you know, on the ethical issue, you know, like stealing somebody's ship and I delayed the action to recruit her. So of course, Inevitably, she joined my company, but under a different team. So, <laughs> so I was uh, a bit sad, lah, of course, you know. But thank God, after receiving that word that night during the Grace Encounter class itself, I felt liberated and I rejoiced. And I just said, Lord, I leave the case to you. You are in control. And um, I always remember what Pastor always tells us, Pastor Joshua said, if our plan A fails, God always has plan B. If plan B fails, there's a plan C. God has always many plans for us. And thank God, you know. So fast forward, recently, uh, on the 29th and 30th of May, our company had the convention and annual dinner. Wow, I was uh, blown away because unexpectedly or rather so surprisingly, my team among my group, won the most award. I give God all praise the glory Lord. and praise. And uh, not only that, I also noticed particularly the past two months or so, even today, you know, I'm always receiving notification that my team, there's new members joining my team. You know, God is so good. God is actually working behind the scene on my behalf. So I give glory to Jesus and I thank God, you know, to emphasize what Pastor always say is the word, right? Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry has given us so much in uh, all these kingdom classes to emphasize that we need to know the word of God. Truly is the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hi, I'm Esther from Grace Encounters. So here's my testimony. Um, from the beginning to the very end of the class, I never failed encountering God's grace. Um, this kingdom series has really taught me that it's not how big our circumstances are, but how big God is and um, His grace and faith towards us. So um, though there are times when the fall is hard, but God's grace and compassion is so much more greater that it does not only lift me up, but also uh, uses me as a testimony to the people around me to be a great blessing for them. Um, big thank you to Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry and all the facilitators for the wonderful lessons and also making it a great experience in this class. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer. Uh, my testimony upon attending uh, kind uh, Kingdom Discovery. Actually, uh, my mind was full of questions and doubt about who I am in Christ as my past uh, church experiences uh, taught me that Though our sins are forgiven, we still have to go through God's punishment and our salvation is earned through our own good work. 
So when I step into RLC somewhere in the middle of February, uh, my zone pastor, Pastor Sally, and my cell group leader, Sister Carmen, they approached me to sign up for courses. So since um, I was deeply hungered to grow deeper into God's words, I signed up for Kingdom Discovery courses and Pastor uh, Patrick guided me on this. So uh, when I first attend the class, the topic for, for that week was on great blessings from the cross. And through the lessons and uh, group discussions, God has actually opened my eyes to see the wonderful finished work of Christ uh, on the cross. And uh, I, I was able to like live uh, life free from condemnation. And uh, throughout the uh, remaining lessons and discussions among the other participants, actually I was able to walk free from condemnation and I learned a lot, uh, a lot of things through the Bible studies uh, which was very useful for my daily walk with Christ. So I just want to give all the glory and honor to Christ for all the things that uh, He has done in my life and sending me right on time to uh, make me, uh, to my mind, uh, set my mind free from condemnation. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Um, Caleb Lee from Kingdom Relationship class. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank uh, Pastor Joshua, Pastor Kerry, and all the facilitators for making this Kingdom Relationship class a success. Uh, so yesterday we had, uh, the end of our class, we had uh, dim sum at Oriental Pavilion. <laughs> it was great. Uh, overflowing abundance of dim sum. We were really full. And so in the class, we learned We had a final lesson, which is the repeat. We say it's about communication and li listening skills. So in short, I guess it was really important because it was repeated. Uh, firstly, to listen attentively, to understand, and also to speak, speak with gentleness. So yeah, it's been a really fruitful and thoroughly written uh, lesson and I do encourage you to join if you plan to build a great family and also having a good relationship with others as well so I believe lastly I believe if we want to build a great church a great nation it starts from a godly and Christ-centered family and it starts with us thank you thank you Caleb Praise the Lord. According to the last part of Psalms 23, verse 5, my cup overflows. During SVG, I asked my teachers to pray that I get selected for the under-13 football team in my school. Praise God, I not only got selected for under-13, but also for under-15. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, teachers who prayed for me. Hi, everyone. I'm Lucas. My testimony is that one time before my exam, it was very hard, but I did not give up. I prayed before and after that I will pass the exam. When the exam started, the paper was surprisingly easy. I thank Jesus that he heard my prayer and gave me peace to face, my, to face the exam. Thank you for all the Champs teachers for teaching me God's word. Thank you. Hi everyone. I would like to thank all my teachers in Champs Kingdom Champs. I had a great time learning all the lessons they taught. I also enjoy most is a quiz and game time. Thank you. Champs gifts helped me to learn about Jesus and how sweet he is in my life. Thank to all the teachers who always prays for us after class. I became second runner up in my kids got talent Malaysia. Wow. Thank you, RLC. Hello, my name is Joanne Shalom. Praise the Lord. I asked my SVG teachers to pray for my ballet exam. They prayed for me and I passed my ballet exam. Thank you, teachers and all my dear pastors. Thank you everyone for sharing your great testimonies. Yes, it's a gentle reminder to everyone to come and join us for the Kingdom classes. You listen to all the great testimonies, right? It's really amazing how God can change our lives. And can we invite Pastor Kerry to pray for all the graduates here? 
Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We praise you for all these graduates. And Father, we pray that their eyes of their hearts may be enlightened so that they will know the hope that you have for them, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his in them and father we pray that they will continue that to learn more even to the classes father we pray that you grant them the heart that uh, that to, to pursue even further that father they are not only satisfied with what they have learned in the past and thinking that they have graduate but father they have a heart to know more as they know more they have break more they have greater breakthroughs as they know more you have for them they are able to do great things great as well that you have for them father we ask that you bless all these graduates and father that help them they are able to do well and help them that father they are able to continue with their classes father we thank you we praise you in jesus name we pray amen amen